Lin Yun Chin says generic mouth breathing fool scorns personal observation and undermines common sense is confirmation bias. All his number fixation is confirmation bias. He conforms to what prescribed to him to believe via insecurity lead imagination of education. Follow that. <laughs> Listen, we talking about imagination of education, and that was so poorly written. I think he has the imagination of education. Hi oh! says, fanatic, are you ashamed of black people and instead of being aware of what is going on in their communities, you rather make excuses? Why would I be ashamed of black people? We're amazing. So introduce yourself to the uh, listeners. Um, my name is Fanatic, spelled with a Q, F-A-N-A-T-I-Q. Um, I'm a musician first, a... Twitch streamer and, you know, political pundit for some. I um, was a professional video gamer for quite a few years. I still play video games, but just not professionally and not consistently anymore. Um, yeah, and that music is my trade. And um, I would say, uh, uh, yeah, I would say politics has become like my newest passion. It's nice, man. What manner of love God's bestowed on us? And this is King James Version, but I'm reading it more like common English. Mm -hmm. I do the same. Uh, that we should be called sons of God. The world doesn't know, un know us because it doesn't know him. That's why they reject Trump, too, and JLP. <laughs> Beloved Twitch streamer awesome. and hey, musician. I wanted to ask, uh, uh, do you believe the Bible or do you believe in the Bible? Ben, how are you doing? Hey, what's up, James? Hey. Uh, James and uh, Fanatic. Hey. Fanatic. Fanatic. Yep. Amazing. The country's doing It's not true. It's not true. Now, I did live in Texas. They do have homeless. But I can tell you it's a lot harsher to be homeless in Texas than it is in California. Sure. Because California has a lot of programs and politicians to give things away. Yep. Sounds and like a you're lot not of Christian get policies. The out of here That's Christian to you? Oh sure. You think it's Christian? What? You think it's Christian to enable the homelessness to go out of control? I think that framing is awful. I would say it's Christian to like have concern for like the widows and the homeless. I think the Bible literally tells us to do so. Those homeless people are not widows. Some are. Most of them are well, not, and they don't need the help. This but they don't help, need the help? It, right. What about the people the who, are, who have mental they, health they, issues it, and they're homeless because the of that? Help you're enabling them and you're problem. causing their What's that? Go ahead. I said, giving them the help that he's talking about, I, don't, I understand what he's saying, but it doesn't help the problem. Sure. It really doesn't. You're right, because sending, mean, sending money to a homeless person who has like a mental health problem isn't going to actually Giving them the food issue. is, is uh, keeping the, making the problem worse, they got a too. Church, so you think we should allow them to starve and deny them all financial... Like, with yes. Will Smith and his son. What was if that a man movie? will not work, he shall not eat. So even That's for, in the Bible. What, what was that fact. movie? What was the movie with Will Smith and his son? They were homeless. I don't know. The, the, oh, something okay. happy. The pursuit of happiness. That church. That Cecil Williams Church. City Hall gives. Last time I checked was in the nineties. City Hall gives Cecil Williams about eight to ten dollars a plate for the homeless. He feeds them three times a day. You Shameful. do the math. It's ridiculous. Now, that area that that church is in. It's called a tenderloin. It's terrible. It's ter and it's yeah. spreading all over San Francisco. And you think that's and Christian? I would say no. Yeah, I would no, say he, taking fanatic thinks that's Christian. Yeah, I think the idea of like feeding that, feeding the homeless, I and I would say well, like taking care of those. Who, what if they're homeless? What do you mean they're not poor? You so have not poor. a lot. What of, does poor mean to you? you? Go ahead, William. I keep on interrupting. Go ahead. You have a, that's okay. I'll you have you. a lot of. Uh, and I mean, I don't want to really mention any names. You have a lot of reverends and pastors that are connected with the you know, city hall and all right. of these homeless shelters. These are jobs for a lot of nonprofit people. They're getting over like a fat pig because as long as you're homeless, they're working. So a lot of times California overspends and they profit and overspend and waste on the very same subject, yeah. homelessness. Are they going to build anything for homelessness? I doubt it. The only thing you can do to fight homelessness is stop your behavior. 
Stop enabling it. Stop rewarding it. Well, what do you mean Just they didn't build on. anything for the I homeless? Mean, if, They're doing if, it all the you time. You know, fanatic. If what? my father, what do you mean by what do you mean by building something for the homeless? What are you talking about? Does that sound realistic to you with the expensive this property? How expensive this property is here? But they're already doing it. There are already sections in the state of California. It's Section Eight. There are already oh, there, are, there are you're there are that. there are, are condemning that William. There are already sections in the state the of California that are doing what you're talking about. Property owner, yes, I don't want no Section Eight tenant. He's saying get rid of I don't that want stuff. The, I don't want the city government telling me who to rent to. You, they don't. It, you know, Section Eight is optional, right? Like you don't have to allow a Section Eight person and to I live in your, in your house. So why would you say I don't? I get that you don't I want don't. that. I but, had one tenant that was Section Eight, and we had to pay them to get the hell out of our building. Well, you signed no. up for Section Eight, didn't you? You 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 created yeah, no, that. No, no, I didn't. It was somebody older than me and my family that did that. Okay, so and someone, that who, the owner along, did it. I had to do right, it. Right, so the owner did it. So then it's not a problem with Section 8 as a whole. Yeah, if, it's, well, if it's something well, that you I'll don't want to participate in, because it takes I got your property you. Value but then, to the, to the, sure, to the whole. but if it's something you don't want to participate in, you don't have to. Well, why, would you, state. why would you demonize the system because it's something you personally don't want to participate in? How ridiculous is that? I'm, de- I'm demonizing the system by saying, no, I won't rent to a Section 8 tenant. No. And I got next door to him paying $6,000 a month. And then you got this one over here paying $300 a month. Do you think the two people mix? <laughs> or do you think my property value drops? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. There's a whole nother conversation. I, I, okay, there. I don't, I, it feels like you're interested I, you know, in talking more like, than the conversation. Re- so I'm not a you Republican. I'm not a Democrat. I don't go with that safe term. Well, I appreciate I it, am, William. You know. Thank you, man. Thank you, man. All right. Take care. So you think Section 8 is good to have when you when it, you see that it just brings in ghetto people? So there's a bunch of things. So Section 8, if you know the history of Section 8 in this country, Section 8 was used by white people, too. And it wasn't used specifically for, like, projects and, and to renting to other people, like, for other people to do. What it was was the government was literally a, a performing, what was it? It was called public housing, and they were allowing people, they were building structures within communities that were closer to, like, job opportunities and things like that in the suburbs for white people to be able to live. And it helped those people to assimilate and to kind of, um, it, it created economic economic mobility. What we're, what we're looking at for Section 8 now is we're looking at a system in which we're, we're giving Section 8 to people who are like, who who are uh, economically deprived and then not providing any <laughs> other um, further structures. That's not economically deprived. You're, you're giving them stuff. What do you? They're not deprived. They're overserved. I'm saying they're people. economically deprived because the average income of the person who's receiving Section 8 is significantly lower than the rest of the country. As it right? should be. They shouldn't be, ge- they shouldn't be given. You don't solve that. How is that not economic stuff. deprivation? Because they, they already they, – they, they can make the money themselves. You don't give it to them What? So, wait. and redistribute ghettos. But if they're not currently making the money, then by definition they're economically deprived. They're not deprived, though. What does deprived mean to you? Deprived means that you can't – Make money. You can make money. No, it means America. that you don't have it. But you, ha- but they do have money, and they're given money. What do you mean they have money if they have lower income than the rest of they the have country? Money. If they have lower income, they still have money. So then they have less than the rest of the country. But that doesn't mean they're deprived. Oh. You're acting like they're deprived or poor or homeless, and we need to feed them. But that's ro- that's so wrong. You're making it worse. Well, are they? You're enabling. Would you say that a person? Poverty. Okay, so a person that's making in the state of California that's making twelve thousand uh, dollars a year. They have money. Would you say that they're poor? No. What does poverty mean to you? Because we have poverty lines in this country. We don't have poverty in this country. What, Nobody is. What does poverty mean? What does poverty mean? Starving. That's what. Starving means starving. Poverty means something else. Poverty doesn't mean what what these people who are called poor. Poverty is a reflection of economic status by I know, definition. But it's, but it's talking about you're talking about people who don't. Have anything? No, there's real diff- poverty is like in a third world country. Wait, you don't have that's real a poverty different here. degree of poverty. Exactly. So, so why are we pretending that this is poverty? So it's still poverty here. It's, it's just it's poverty. a different degree. No, they're they're not underserved. They're overserved. Yeah, I, that's I, the whole that's the whole problem that you're that you're feeding this problem. Okay. And you think it's being a Christian? Okay. So yeah, I got to look up the word po- poverty for no, you. No, man. Here, let me get to a guest in the meantime. Okay, please do. <laughs> Brian in California. The state of being poor. Hey, Brian, it's me with Transparency and Merit. I've talked to you before, Hank. I also hey. uh, was mentioning it with John. Hey, how's it going? I wanted to mention that uh, I, I don't know how to say his name. Fantique? Uh, fanatic. Um, fanatic. Fanatic was uh, saying that, you know, you got to check data and stuff. Dictionary you know, is fake years, news, by the way. Don't be fooled. Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. They change <laughs> definitions all for the time. Years. They do. That yeah. our, our word change. For years. Because for of years, liberals. We, what? Yeah. What, 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 hold, years, really, really quick. Hold, uh, real, 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 let, me, let me ask him one question. Hold, hold one on, question. Brian. Hold on. I distracted him. You did. I'm sorry. I got to <laughs> throw this in here really quick. What does the word awful mean to you? Awful means evil. Okay. That word changed. Do you know that it used to mean like something that was inspiring and something amazing, right? Uh-huh. Full of awe. Yeah. Like awe-inspiring. That's different. That's, a, that's different from the fake news that, the, that we have right now with the dictionary. So words change, like yeah. that word used to mean something negative, and I mean it used to mean, mean something positive, and now means right. something negative, and those words can change in that way. But yeah. anytime a word changes, and we 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 track that people changing by on, with the definition. People and, change language. Are you aware that communists have come in and changed language on purpose, made up this racism thing, and they made, up, made they up changed racism? the definition of vaccine. Wait, hold on. They've changed up all of these. They've brought in all of this language so and they call it domestic violence they just make up all these words it's white supremacy and all this stuff so you're saying racism didn't exist before communism racism has never existed it is a false idea it's a false vice it's a worldly atheistic materialistic shallow judgment upon white people to pretend that white people are are the most racist people in the world quote unquote when they're like the nicest people, they're like everybody. So you don't like you don't think black people can be racist? Uh, not according to their fake definition. To their okay, what? So the dictionary is fake news. So so then how do we have a conversation if the only way we can define any sort of words is through a dictionary and you no, reject that's dictionaries? Not the only way. No, dictionaries are fake news nowadays. Okay, so then you're uh, looking the, up poverty. The only to pretend to distract from the fact that real poverty is. Overseas, third world stuff. Sure, and I here. guess so. Then the only wealthy people are like the Jeff Bezoses of the world, right? No, the wealthy any person people are who anybody has... in America, pretty much. Okay, so so then there's no degrees to anything. There are degrees, but this is you're calling people poor as if we need to be helping them, which is not this case. That's incredibly simple minded. You think but... you're being Christian by enabling evil? Wow, that's taking sim- over. Okay, our... so so let just you di- don't even know that the homelessness crisis is out of control. Sure, I don't have any data. You look at data. Of course. Which brings me back to this caller. Okay. <laughs> I know we only have 10 minutes. That's why I'm I got rushing. you. I got I you. Pa- no problem. We'll have you back another time or All I'll right. come on your show or whatever. That'll work. <laughs> Brian, go ahead. Well, I wanted to mention that uh, for years we thought the American casualty rate in the Korean War was over 50,000. And then later on, there was someone made a decimal point mistake. And we found out that it was less than 40,000. So how can we trust the data when, you know, so often it is wrong and incorrect? So it sounds like the question you're asking is if because of the so fact— you're, you're talking about an honest mistake. I'm talking about dishonest data. Sure, and it sounds like the, oh, like well, rooted yeah, in your course. question— uh, yeah. I mean, I mean you, you go over the welfare statistics of black and white, they hide those statistics. There was a Phil Donahue show that showed proportionately— that there were like more numerically blacks on welfare than whites. Whoa! You can't find that on YouTube. You can also there was a uh, th- there was a video of Richard Pryor talking about his time in the military. He spent the majority of his time in the military uh, in a in a in a in a, in a, uh, in a military jail after he had uh, uh, assaulted and stabbed a, a he and he and his fellow black soldiers stabbed and assaulted a fellow white soldier. That's also been removed from YouTube. The oh, same yeah. thing with Colin Flaherty and his channel has been you ever heard of removed Colin Flaherty? from YouTube. Colin Flaherty is a great journalist. Uh, he yeah. says that Jesse Lee Peterson is the most important man in America. He's documented just the rampant black mob violence, black violent, black on white crime, black on Asian crime, black on handicapped crime, black on old But you don't crime. believe race exists. I think race exists. Well, I, racism doesn't exist. Okay, R- race well, is just I, I, a belief I, I believe that there's that like any fundamental. Black, that race would have been against white, and this is yeah, promoted blacks by are black. encouraged oh, to man, hate whites and think this racism stuff. Anyway, go ahead. They You're getting hate, frustrated. Yeah. And, no, no, and it's, it's fine. Not, it's it's totally it, go ahead. It's okay. I, I I just I I think that it's really insane because it's hard to have a conversation with a person that believes race exists but doesn't believe that a person can believe that race creates fundamental differences and therefore a superiority of another race right for example you don't do you believe that exists. do you believe that there is a person that, that a person can exist that believes that because he is white he is superior to other people can a person have that belief yes 
Okay, that that's belief, not racism. That belief by definition is racism. If no, that's not. not racism, then tell me what racism is. Racism doesn't exist. Right. So then it's because, crazy. Because, You're basically saying look, any definition that actually talks about what racism is doesn't it doesn't mean anything because dictionaries made it. But you're saying you're able to even say that this thing isn't racism, but you have no idea of what racism actually is. I know what racism actually is. Because I've it asked you that exist. multiple times. What is racism? It then? doesn't exist. Right. So then you don't know pretend, what it is because you're saying it doesn't exist. So be, it can't you can't say racism is and then say racism is not. Why do you think blacks care so much about this imaginary racism thing? Well, first off, again, you can't say racism is and simultaneously say racism is not. When you say racism does not exist, that means racism is not. There is no such thing as racism. Answer the question. Why do you think blacks care so much about this imaginary racism thing? Sure. So in ignoring your contradiction that you just said there, I don't think racism is imaginary. I didn't contradict myself. You did. You said racism is not and said racism is. Those are two it different things. It does not statements. exist. So to say racism doesn't exist, racism does not exist, is the same thing as saying racism is not. There is no racism. Yeah. I, right. But right. But then you also said you know what racism is. No, I didn't. You literally said those words verbatim. I said well, if it's I probably said going it, too fast for you. It's yeah, okay. Because um, listen, listen. Why do you think black people are hung up on this imaginary racism thing when everybody knows they are the most hung up on race? Show the most in-group preference. Show the most hatred toward other races. Okay. So have you ever seen... Uh, the, has there ever been legislation that was racist in intent? Answer the question. The, I'm asking you... The, I am. This is a way of answering it. So basically, the reason why black people still identify and recognize racism is because it, one, obviously Except exists... Except for in themselves. Uh, one, racism obviously... Except for in themselves. Sure. If you want me to answer your question, Go one, ahead. racism obviously exists as demonstrated by laws that were needed to be passed in order to ensure that racist individuals didn't carry out problematic um, acts against black people. Have you noticed human nature... People think of themselves as better, and they base those things on shallow beliefs. Like race. For example. Okay, so then that means, in, so then by definition that would be racism. No, because it's a false vice. Have you noticed? What do you mean by false vice? What does that mean? A false vice is pretending that calling anybody racist who, who criticizes blacks for example. No, that's not... Or who does something against a black... No, 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 no. We're, no, we're, no, no. we're talking about the... This is in practice. We're talking no, about no, no, in no. practice. Screw the practice. We're talking no, about the reality. ideology of the person who has this belief that they're superior. But that's not by why... By definition, at is heart, racist. At heart, that's not why they think that they're better than everybody. Wait, but you... Everybody thinks that they're better than so then, everybody. How, we can't talk angry, about racism... You think that you're better than the person you're angry at. We can't talk about racism if we can't agree to a definition of what the word means. Because it's, an, it's, a, it's, a, it's a red herring. Okay, so because then if the it's person, a red herring, then I can't answer your question because you don't crying, even believe racism means anything. The person crying racism, it doesn't mean anything. The person right. crying racism is just as guilty of this false judgment and a, as the person who is allegedly racist. Okay, so Usually we gotta, the person who's so-called racist is being called racist for telling the truth or for doing something that he has a right to do. Okay, so we've got to move that? past the conversation of race altogether. If you don't believe racism exists, then we can't have a conversation about you, black people's ideologies re regarding racism. You just ignored the fact that black people are refuse to look at themselves, but want want to accuse everybody else of being imaginary racist. Okay, if you say so, I don't. I don't know. I don't you know. You don't see that? Uh, no, not at all. You don't. I think black people look at themselves all the time. You think black people know that they're the the, th the very thing that they accuse white people of being? Uh, w well, hold on. W what is that thing that they're accusing white people of being? So called racist. Right, but but you're now assigning yeah. racism to black people after saying racism doesn't exist. It doesn't exist. exist. So then how are you saying that black Everybody's people are racist? Everybody's guilty of feeling superior to everybody. So how are you saying that ra how are you saying black people are racist if you're saying racism doesn't exist? I'm not saying that they're racist. I'm saying that they're guilty of the thing that they accuse others of being, which what is, is that judging, thing? judgment. It's a judgment? Yeah. A judgment like so what do you saying that what? a false judgment? I mean, people judge all the time. Exactly. What's specific exactly. about this judgment? Exactly. Is there why, any specificity or is, is it just as broadly this, as judgment? Why is there this imaginary outrage about this imaginary racism stuff? I, again, I don't— Because I, it's, cause they don't want to look at themselves. Yeah, I don't know. This the is too The most judgmental people are always crying racism. Have you noticed? I don't. I didn't notice. You don't notice that no. judgmental people—have you ever seen this person cry again, racism? Again, this conversation can't happen because you don't believe racism exists. I don't know how, we have, we're, how we're circling a conversation around the topic of racism where you say racism literally doesn't exist. It doesn't doesn't exist because everybody is a judgmental person. Okay, I'll let you have it. But yeah, okay, blind person. Uh, wow, Animus says this guest is a mama. He nice. 
Sure. I think I'm a pretty <laughs> nice guy. I, I will own that one. I, I'm a pretty nice guy. Uh, promote your stuff. We got, we're over time. We got to end. <laughs> uh, it's real simple. Follow me, Fanatic, for all of my music, F-A-N-A-T-I-Q, twitch.tv slash Mr. Fanatic for like m- m- my political commentary and, and, and all of that. And then YouTube is under Ask Fanatic, A-S-K-F-A-N-A-T-I-Q. You can find all my stuff there. We'll um, have to talk again, man. For sure, man. It was great. Because um, this was really too short. We didn't really have, because I felt... Like, I had to rush you and yes, change sir. up stuff. Graham in North Carolina wanted to talk to the guests, say, liberals change data and definitions. Sure. I, I think that th- those things happen. Look, if anybody has any questions for me, I'm always active on my Twitter. I'm nice. always active on my stream. You can ask me anything. I'm willing to have conversations. We can do it. Escape and flow into my gym.